Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How to work. As an immigration officer. To become an immigration officer, you need to meet specific educational and experience requirements. A bachelor's degree is typically required, though relevant work experience can sometimes substitute. Denon applicants must be U.S. citizens and pass a background check. Physical fitness is also important, as the job can be demanding. You must pass a written test and an interview to assess your qualifications and suitability for the role. End training is provided by the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, USCIS, or U.S. Customs and Border Protection, CBP, depending on the specific role. Then end training programs cover immigration law, investigative techniques, and other necessary skills. End immigration officers often work in diverse environments, including airports, border crossings, and government offices. The job involves reviewing applications, conducting interviews, and enforcing immigration laws. And strong communication skills are essential, as officers interact with people from various backgrounds. Attention to detail is crucial for reviewing documents and making informed decisions. And being bilingual can be an advantage, given the diverse population officers serve. Career advancement is possible with experience and additional training. And officers may specialize in areas like fraud detection or asylum cases. And working as an immigration officer can be rewarding, offering the chance to make a significant impact on people's lives. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.